Once you have an Avid Master account, there's a few important things that you probably want to do to make your life a lot easier. One of those things is linking your iLock account to your Avid account. This way, Avid knows exactly where to put any sort of plugins that you get from Avid. So let's link this account to my iLock account here. One of the things that you want to do is link your iLock account. iLock is a piece of software that allows Avid to manage your authorizations for Pro Tools and other plugins. If you do have an iLock account, you can go to link this account, type in your iLock user ID. So once I click that link, it brings me to a new page. You also might get errors relating to cookies. I actually switched browsers to make this video. Click authorize. Now my iLock account is linked to this account. They both happen to have the same name. But this is useful when purchasing things or transferring licenses. The other thing that you're going to want to do, you might notice that it's very difficult to find older versions of Pro Tools. Unless you kind of know where to look, it's a little bit difficult. Where you would find them is in the Avid Download Center. For some reason, this is a separate account. What you need to do is first create a Download Center account and it will ask you your information here. And just type it in, simple information, and then create my ESD account. When you're finished, it will give you this message saying your download account has been created and is now linked to your Avid Master account. There it is, it's linked. Now, this allows me to access older versions by just clicking access your account. So there it is. The two things that you wanted to do here was to make sure that you linked your iLock account to your Avid Master account. And then the other thing that we did was we created an Avid Download Center account. And then when we created it, it automatically linked us to this. And I'll show you how to use that in a different video.